Meanwhile, we told you about those senators who are set to question that whistleblower who says Facebook misled the public about the harmful impact of its platforms. Frances Haugen is a former Facebook product manager who says when she joined the company, she wanted to focus on combating misinformation. But it only took a year, she says, to become disillusioned. So she filed an anonymous complaint with the SEC and provided thousands of pages of internal company research. Facebook did respond, saying every day, our teams have to balance protecting the right of billions of people to express themselves openly with the need to keep our platform a safe and positive place. We continue to make significant improvements to tackle the spread of misinformation and harmful content. To suggest we encourage bad content and do nothing is just not true. Senior National Correspondent Terry Moran has been following all of this for us. And Terry, you know, we were talking about this all day yesterday. Uh, it really took everyone by surprise, this massive outage. Let's talk about the hearing and the timing of all this. What exactly is Haugen accusing Facebook of and how do you think this is going to play out today? Kira, she's accusing Facebook of putting profits before people. That, that's what she says. By designing an app, by using that algorithm, that, that code that gets you involved in the Facebook experience in a way that draws you into deeper anger, deeper hatred, deeper body issues, deeper misinformation, and they knew it. It's the research that she exfiltrated from Facebook that demonstrates that executives were told by their own researchers, hey, our app is degrading young girls, that teenage girls who are on Instagram are reporting massive amounts of, of body shame, of, of depression, of anxiety. They feel worse after they use it. We know that we've designed it so that they are encountering all kinds of content that will drive them uh, to those feelings and engage them even more. Look, it, it, I mean, fear, anger, hatred, all those things stir us more vigorously uh, than kindness. I mean, it's just this, we're animals, that's, that's the way we're built. And Facebook, according to Haugen, and she's got the documents to back it up, uh, has built an app that drives that kind of engagement, makes people feel worse. In a way, what she's saying is Facebook isn't social media, it's anti-social media, and she's got the proof. And you know what, Terry, we're both parents, and we talk about this all the time. This is why I struggle with devices, and I try to keep my 10-year-old twins off of them for as long as possible because just seeing the outcome of what's happening here, especially as a parent, I'm paying such close attention. And then Haugen said there was also a breaking point for her, right? And that was January 6th when we saw that assault on the Capitol and how she says Facebook may have played a role in all of that. That's right. And that is when, uh, that was the straw that broke the camel's back for, for Frances Haugen. She saw uh, what happened here, up here at the Capitol, an attack on our Capitol, an attack on our democracy while uh, the electoral votes and the election for president were being counted, and, and she'd had enough because she saw what Facebook was. Facebook had a crucial role in the organization, in the dissemination of misinformation, in the stoking of fear and hatred among people who were on the losing side of that election. Uh, it, in some ways, it was the war room for the planning, one of them certainly, of the insurrection, of the attack on the Capitol. Uh, and, and it certainly also stoked the kinds of uh, lies, of misinformation, uh, and, of ge the, and of general antagonism towards your fellow citizens. Facebook is built on you getting deeper and deeper into it. And what they find is if something makes you angry or if something makes you fearful, you're going to click again. And they feed you more of that. And they feed you more of that. And you're caught in this vicious circle uh, of misinformation, of, of lies and fantasy, because that's how you engage. And the more you engage, the more money Facebook makes. The, the most striking thing, people have been saying this for years, but the most striking thing about Frances Haugen is she's got the documents that show that Facebook knows this. They knew it. And they said, well, you know, if we made a kinder application, we wouldn't make as much money. So let's stick with this. Mm. So what do you think? What can we expect to hear from, from lawmakers? What are the questions you want to hear? What, what do you think is, is going to just, you know, be sparked by this conversation and this testimony, spe specifically in the wake of this massive service outage that we saw yesterday? You know, one thing I think we'll see up here, Kira, is a rare moment of bipartisanship. Uh, the, the, the Trumpiest Republican, uh, the, the, the most liberal Democrat, 
all are united across the spectrum in concern about these mammoth, gigantic, multi-trillion dollar corporations uh, that are uh, wreaking havoc in not just our society but in societies across the world and you will see concerns expressed from both sides of the aisle but also what I'm looking for is what's the fix that is also the the concerns that Facebook managers had when they saw this research they said well yeah how do we do it without smashing free speech without without destroying the very purpose of social media which is to get people to engage how do we censor them and I think we're going to hear from lawmakers as well the same puzzlement okay we can see the harm uh, that these applications that Facebook and other social media have in society how can we possibly write laws uh, that get our hands around that, that that get us the kind of social media we want it's not an easy question and I think that's what we'll hear well, I, I tell you, I'm looking forward to listening uh, to it in its entirety. We will be talking all throughout the morning as soon as it begins as well. Terry, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.